Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga, live in downtown. And I'm Pat Paris. We're bringing you stories that impact our community this evening with team coverage from El Tour de Tucson of Tucson this weekend, of course. And we'll also take you from Cochise County to the south side of Tucson. But first, let's take you downtown. Heidi is there. Tucsonans, Heidi, aren't the only ones ready to ride in this 40th El Tour, are they? No, not at all, Pat. Thousands of people will be making their way from all across the world to come to Tucson to take part in the 40th annual El Tour de Tucson happening tomorrow morning. We just saw a number of cyclists pass us, actually. Maybe they're training, last-minute uh, training before tomorrow's big ride. But businesses like 440 and Company, as well as Creations Boutique, are some well-known spots here on 4th Avenue and 6th Street. We actually got to talk to them about some of the impacts that they see when there's an influx of people who are visiting town. Now we know that 72,000 people will be making their way to take part in the big ride, but it's not just about the ride. It's also about the people who are coming out to support these riders and what they'll be doing on their downtime. Many of those people visiting from out of town and they'll be spending their entire weekend here shopping at our shops and eating at our local restaurants. We usually get a, a lot of incoming tourists. It can be anywhere from families, um, local people as well who like to shop at our store since we've been here for about 52 years. Great boost of business having those events going on as well. We'll be hearing from a business owner who says that she is living the American dream here in Tucson. That's coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. But right now, Pat, let's talk some numbers. El Tour de Tucson has raised $114 million over the 39 years that they've been hosting it. Those all go to around 70 different charities, and $5 million were raised just last year. Now, when it comes to other riders and spectators, well, it's estimated a little over a million dollars has been spent for transportation, food and entertainment in the city of Tucson. Now the annual event will of course be coming with a lot of road closures throughout town. Kega 9's Kenny Dar joins us from Broadway and 4th where cyclists will be passing through on the ride. Kenny. That's right, Heidi. We are just a few miles from the Tucson Convention Center where the cyclists will, of course, start the El Tour de Tucson. Now those cyclists will make their way to 15th before then finding their way coming up 4th Avenue before then turning on to Broadway. I did speak to a couple of business owners in the area asking them if these road closures, which is just a few of the dozen, will affect them. One of them telling me she's not worried. I used to live right on one of the main strips that where they would always close it off. I am down for street closures anytime because we do a lot of different, I do a lot of different pop-up markets. And so I think to sacrifice a street for a day is worth the community aspect. Now here in the downtown area, you can expect several of these streets to close between 4 in the morning and 1130 on Saturday. Those streets do include Main, 12th, Simpson Street, and again, of course, 4th Avenue and 15th Street. So you'll want to definitely plan accordingly if you are going to be down here tomorrow at, in between those times. Now the city does say they will open up each road closure as the last rider passes through with all roads expected to be reopened by 5 p.m. tomorrow. For now, reporting near Broadway and 4th in downtown. Downtown Tucson, Kenny Dar, Kega 9. All right, Kenny, thank you. And yeah, Kyler, you and I were uh, noting that uh, this year's route is actually very far south in uh, yeah. Tucson area, down to Corona Day Tucson and, and uh, staying down in that area. So that'll right. help because uh, we've got a lot of traffic Tough. that are going to be wanting to go Ooh. to El Tour and to the game. <laughs> oh You've gosh. got the uh, El Tour forecast for us. So yeah, well. that's been the million dollar question all week. What's it going to look like? So we've been seeing this forecast evolve. So let's reveal it and see what the final forecast looks like. It's, it's not looking too bad. I'm is going to say too bad because we do have a chance of showers and even a possible embedded thunderstorm early in the morning. The good news is these will be very isolated showers. They shouldn't have a significant impact on the event. However, some of the roads will have a little bit of water on them, making for some slicker conditions. So we're going to have to be aware of that. As far as the temperatures go, really nice, starting out in the 60s, topping out in the mid to upper 70s. A breeze out of the west northwest, they'll pick up a little bit afternoon. But all in all, I think we're going to luck out pretty good with this. Right now, radar is void of any significant rainfall across southeastern Arizona. But as we zoom out, there's that next wave of energy that's going to arrive tonight and be with us. 
us into tomorrow morning through about the middle of tomorrow. So more on the weekend outlook when we come back here in just a little bit.